Hey, it's Jason from the Extra Pine Crokinole Club. We're going to get to the finals of the U.S. Open Doubles Crokinole Championship in just a minute. Just wanted to take a time, do a little recap of the day. And to thank everybody that participated and uh, everybody else that helped make this day come for our club. Uh, we were really excited to have everybody. It was a great event. Everybody had a good time. We got to meet some great people along the way, especially uh, the teams that traveled a great distance to come down and play. Um, we had three teams from Cambridge, Massachusetts. There are the teams score off that barrage, the Chesterfield Voice Muffins, and Thanksgiving. Uh, these guys were really sharp players and really fun to hang around. Their club is called the Cambridge Jays, and if anybody's in that area, uh, ask around. Or uh, I might have some information later if anybody's in that area and wants to contact them, let me know. They also brought a couple of their spouses with them, and uh, most of the pictures you'll see here was from Allison from that group. And if you'd like to see more photos from this event, we have a Google Photos link in the description. And then we had our Texas team fly and fix them. Fly all the way in from Houston, Texas, which is just incredible. And uh, we thank them very much for joining in the fun and festivities with us. And then uh, representing New Hampshire, uh, Nick Osmore and Quiet Mike were Team Stranger Dane and Nick holds Crokinole meetups in New Hampshire. And uh, we're going to leave a link in the description for the next meetup. And if you're in that area, get a hold of Nick and uh, he'll, he'll set you up and he'll get some good Crokinole going for you. And of course, we want to thank our Canadian teams that traveled down uh, to give us a good whooping. Uh, I think uh, Tracy and Hutchison lost maybe two points in the round robin. <laughs> uh, but uh, thanks to them and the Beerlings for coming down, driving eight hours and supporting this tournament. Uh, they made it to the finals, of course, but uh, we gave them the best, we, best shot we could. And of course, all the pickled extra pint and local teams were there as well having a great time and uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of my club members for uh, chipping in everybody did something to help out to make this day happen especially our planning committee uh, these gentlemen helped out tremendously put in a lot of time a lot of meetings uh, those guys are Chet Bulky, Ed Hampson, Dwight Anderson, Magic Mike Matt Hotop, Seth from Bowling, and Larry Stafford. We put in some work, but we feel the tournament was a huge success, so we can't wait for next year. All right, so now we're going to get into the tournament. I just, uh, we played our round robin at the American Legion, then we moved the final game over to Indian Land of Farms, and this is what it sounded like over there, just to give a little bit of the atmosphere. Uh, we had lights, we had a HD TV showing an overhead shot so everyone could see what was going on during the game. We had about 70 to 80 people in there, and it's uh, you'll see it. It was a rowdy crowd. So uh, enjoy the finals. Go for it, guys. the crowd's in it here at the u.s open finals the extra pine crokinole club at indian ladder farms here with seth from bowling how's it going everybody my Good teammate to be here. 
very exciting environment, I gotta say. This is a this is an amazing thing that we put together. That's crazy. Yeah, it is nice. We took fourth place today. We did. Yep. And uh, you know, it's unfortunate, I, but we know we got we, our money back. We right? lost to we lost to the team that's in the finals. That says something, you know. That's, that's right, yeah. Tough uh, team. The U.S. Open, a.k.a. give all the money to the Canadians. That's right. Right? They, they swept it. <laughs> no, but. those guys were uh, nice enough to come down, drive six to eight hours to come play in the tournament. That's right. You know, and, and, and these guys, we watch them on YouTube. We've, we've been uh, watching the games that they play, and they are some strong players. They're strong guys, and, you know, credit to their, credit to their game. They're very good players. So we got to kind of commentate what's going on in the game. It's kind of hard. All right. Yep. But uh, you're going to be the the guy who's paying attention to the game, and I'm going to be doing like other stuff, okay. right? I'll watch the game. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll call out what's going on. I just got to say, like, uh, first thing about these uh, Canadian guys, like, they're obviously a level up than everybody else playing in the tournament. Very, very consistent playing. You know, they they have an open twenty, they make an open twenty. They have something that they convert into a twenty, and most of the time they convert it. You know, very consistent players, very, very good quality players. So, all right, all right here's so here's Tracy lining up right now. Currently, Team Tracy has twenty in the cup, and Team. Now is it Beerling? Beerling. Well, listen, let's go okay. by their U.S. Open team name, man. Right. There's the Canadian Cue Balls, which is Aunt Tracy and Hutchinson. Okay, right. And then there's Protractors and Angles, which okay. is the Beerlings. So okay. Protractors and Angles, and the Beerlings. Okay. All right, uh, Cue Balls. <laughs> so. Cue Balls. Right. All right. So the Cue Balls uh, have 20 in the cup. The uh, Protractors and Angles have 40 in the cup. So. Um, Cue balls have some work to do. That, you know, if they could equalize that twenty, they'd be in a much better spot. Uh, but right now, they're they're playing a lot of. They're trying to play an offensive game on the board right now. Obviously. Well, I tell you, I thought these guys we we, we bring them down, we give them some drinks, and they're like, ah, oh, their game would be totally off, you know, because yeah. we're used to drinking and playing. But these guys, turns out, are are too. Uh, well. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy didn't bite. He he drank water all day, so he, yeah, he that's foul on these guys. But now they're drinking now in the finals. Once they got, they know they're in the money. So right. good, good for them. Yeah, they're kind of enjoying the game, which is really nice. You know, it's yeah. No, these guys truly I'm sure, are, but they're they're enjoying it. Truly are uh, ambassadors of this all game. Right, so Andrew Hutchinson's gonna go for a twenty on this. He does this carry through. Oh, nice. Just off center. Just off center. He was the hammer, so that was a that was an all right shot. Hey, what happened? Um, I think Q uh, balls. Two nothing. Protractors and angles. Okay, protractors and angles are up two nothing. First uh, first round, first game. Here we go. They're gonna line up Jeremy Tracy to lead off, and he sinks the twenty. He gets the twenty. All right. This crowd's tough. They're booing. When they sink right, a 20, they're cheering. Just once. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, cue balls have 20 in the cup, 10 on the board. Protractors and angles going for a roll in. Come up a little short in the 20. Actually, in the 10. Sorry. I gotta say, the uh, the atmosphere here is really good too. The uh, the crowd here is actually. Uh, I know you can't see because we're recording the game. Maybe we can fit some pictures in, but uh, there's probably a good. How many people would you say is here tonight? Oh, I'd say a good 60, 70 people. Yeah. I think, I, I got to tell you, I think this place is at max capacity. There's standing room only. All the chairs are taken. That's right. Oh. Hey, nice shot, nice shot. Protractors and Angles have three in the cup. All right. And uh, two just... balls have four in the cup now. Up to. Oh, they're exchanging shots. They're exchanging 20s back and forth. Yep. See, this is where 
this is where their uh, consistency comes in. You know, they got the open 20s. They're all hitting them right around the board. Open 20s and also just like uh, confidence in taking certain peg uh, disc out too. You know what I mean? Ooh. That was a unexpected miss by Jeremy Tracy. All right. Protractors and angles have six in the cup. I think I see six. All right, they're tied six in the cup. Protractors and angles and cue balls. What are you gonna do? That's the end of the round. Call it out. Four nothing. <laughs> All right, now. Do you want to call it out? Four nothing. They're into the third game. The Canadian cue balls. Protractors and angles. Yeah. Oh. Protractors and angles are up in the are up for nothing over the cue balls. And they're exchanging twenties again. They both have they both have three in the cup for twenties. Now they're outside of the ring, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be an outside game until they can roll it in into that inner circle. Ooh. Leaving a five outside. Andrew Hutchinson rolls into the ten. My husband went to Treehouse and all I got is this stupid t-shirt. This is a, I was backwards trying to wait it in line for an hour and a half in 20 degree weather t-shirt. Ouch. Yeah. Um, I heard it. And you were the mule and he drank all the beer? <laughs> I was, I was cold turned Oh, yeah. Oh, A lot of 20s getting dropped here. Are you eating wings on the mic? I gotta eat wings. <laughs> They're good wings. Be interesting to see what if he goes for the. Uh, yeah, he tried to go for the ricochet, the bounce off the post. Smoking Joe said he's got next. What do you think? Smoking Joe up there from the fluffy unicorns. Yeah. Do you think he, they can take these guys? He's good. He's a good player. All right. So right now, Protractors and Angles are up 20 points in the cup, leaving the cue balls to try to play an offensive game and make up that 20 somehow. So they're trying to... They're going to try to roll off of this and make oh, that 20. Nice try, nice try. Just skim that bumper. Skimmed it off that bumper just enough to change the trajectory of that. Hey, Jay. Who's got the hammer? You know? Who's got the hammer? Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Cue balls have the uh, hammer on this round, so they do have, they do have that going for them. Jeremy Tracy sinks the 20. Was it enough? Was not enough. Was not enough. Six nothing. Come on, Yeah, It's the first shot you gotta drink on. Not every shot. 
Alright, uh, now, if they keep hitting the 20, oh, just missed, left a backboard for, yep, and he got the convert, he got the 20 off of that, great shot. 6 nothing here, playing to 11, first team to make 11 wins the finals. Oh. It'll go away. Look at the stack of 20s there. Look at the stack of 20s on there. They're yeah, filling up they're, the whole jar. They're exchanging back and forth pretty good. They're in the rhythm right now. Look at their uh, their 20s are free. Yep, there we go. Their 20s, the uh, protractors and angles are up. Uh-oh. Can he convert this to a 20, or is he going to play it safe? They're up in 20s. If he can push that through and get outside, that's probably the safest bet for them. They don't want to stay inside and give them any shot at a 20. All right, let's see how this plays out. Jeremy Tracy, very strong player off the ricochet. He got it. He got the 20. Tied in the 20s again. Ooh, backboard left for Andrew Hutchinson. He's going to most likely get this shot. Let's see, they're sort of talking about what they're going to do here. I'm sure if they sink a 20, then that's going to leave them an open. They want to try to get ahead on this and not do that. Even in the cup? Mm -hmm. he, he didn't want to get that 20 because he didn't want them to re, re, uh, to answer back with a 20 with an open on a on a And it wasn't the shot. hammer, <laughs> obviously. But yeah. Missed a shot. All right, here's here's the moment. He's got yeah. Stop and counsel a little bit. And I was wrong again. Okay. Tied in the cup. Looks like eight to nothing. Protractors and angles. Protractors and angles taking it eight nothing. All right, this is the this is the fifth game. Uh, protractors and angles up eight, nothing over cue balls. Two in the cup. Ooh, that was a uh, that was a big miss by the cue balls, Andrews Hutchinson. All right, cue balls have twenty in the cup. Protractors and angles are now, they now have a comfortable lead, still some work to do, but they have two, two 20s over the cue balls in the cup. All right, Jeremy Tracy's shot. Let's see what he does. Ooh, cleared the board. Open shot to the 20, and they're able to get it. They're now up three 20s, back to two 20s. Ooh, and they sunk it. Jeremy Tracy for Tracy for the twenty. Slowly climbing back. They're down now within ooh, back to three. They're within three twenties for it'll be overall ten points if Protractors and Angles wins. 
cue balls have still not uh, been able to put any points on the board. Oh. Nice 20 by Andrew Hutchinson. score is 10 nothing. Pro tractors and angles. Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson have to get points on the board this game or else this will be it for the cue balls. Andrew Hutchinson, great 20. Open, uncontested 20, just short. Jason with a short shot. Let's see if Jeremy can convert for the 20. No, he leaves it off. They're up 120 in the cup. He might be playing safe right now, trying to not give them anything he can sink a 20 on. Oh! Hutchinson. Ooh, not going for the 20s. That could be a critical mistake for the protractors and angles. They really needed that 20 to even the playing field. It's a nice ricochet attempt. Pulls offside, off center just a little bit. Just the disc missed it just a little bit. What is uh, Hutchinson gonna do? Is he gonna shoot for the 20 or play it safe? Almost had the 20. If they had that 20, they would have had a two, a two disc uh, lead in the cup. I gotta say, this uh, this game's moving a little faster than I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna yeah, be uh, a little more even. But uh, Hutchison and Tracy are just waiting to attack. I think. Yeah. Got them right where they want them, you know. Mm -hmm. well, like, seriously, the beer lanes are ridiculous. They're good. Yeah. They're, <laughs> so is Tracy and Hutchison, though. That's uh, that's like the puzzling part. They are. Uh, they're proven to be very good players, strong players. Yeah. Andrew Hutchinson, clutch play, gets a 20. They needed that. Now they got a 220 disc buffer. Another narrow miss by the protractors and angles for a 20. 
there just seem to be missing the mark a little bit in this round on those 20s. just a little off from their mark on those 20s. Earlier rounds, they were hitting those 20s left and right and couldn't miss. Now they seem to be just a little bit off the mark. All right, two balls have taken two points to stay alive for another round against Angles and Protractors, the beer links. Ray Beerling with the 20. Him and his Hutchinson with the answer. Jason just skips over the top. Jason Beerling skipping over the top. Just a narrow miss. Andrew Hutchinson trying to decide which angle to move. He decides to play it straight through, take a safe route. They are currently tied in the cup for 20s. Jason Beerling leaving an opportunity for Jeremy Tracy to sink a 20. Doesn't make contact with the disc, loses the shot, no points. And now Ray Beerling with an open 20 attempt makes it. They're now up 120. 120 disc in the cup over the cue balls. Jason's gonna wanna, he's gonna wanna move that red disc away. Oh, that was a great shot. Exactly, wanted to move that red disc away, not leave it as a backboard for Jeremy Tracy. Ooh. Not what he expected from that shot. He wanted to leave his on with as many points as possible. All right, the Beerlings are up. Four 20s in the cup over Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson. I love that they're playing now. This is a tall hill to climb back on from. The uh, Beerling brothers are four up, and that seems to be that seems to be just about it. Jeremy's the hammer. This is the last shot. And that's it. That is the 2019 U.S. Open Crokinole Finals. The Beerlings have won the, the 2019. They win the $400. They have to drink the beer from the yard trophy, and they, they did a great job. I right, hope everybody enjoyed that final game. Uh, I just want to apologize to people. The mic was muted during this uh, section of the event. This was uh, you know, the award ceremony. Uh, 
uh, we did the Olympics there with their U.S. Open trophies. And uh, part of the thing we do in this club, if you win a major tournament in our club, you have to drink uh, the 32-ounce beer yard uh, immediately after you win the championship. You have to drink it all right then. Uh, with partners, it's a little easier. Uh, if you win the singles tournament, you get some, some work ahead. It's always a tradition that uh, it's an IPA in there. That is an IPA that is 6.2% IABV. It's very smooth. It's called Put You in the News by Union Ladder Brewery. Um, just a little puff, a little phone with the beerlings. I think the match took longer uh, for them <laughs> to drink that thing. But um, anyway, they're really good sports, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I got some audio of this. Uh, quick, short little clips, just to give you an idea what it was like. But uh, these guys are good sports, and that's a tradition in our club. The tip of stalactites incising my knees. There you go. Uh, again, just want to send out a big thank you to everybody who participated in this event. And uh, we'll see you next year.